What's up guys, Joel Valley back with another uh, awesome review of this book. You know, Bitmap books, they always come correct with the packaging. And this is the N64, a visual compendium. And look at the cover here. Man, it's got all that 3D goodness when you move it. Ooh, yeah, this is awesome. Now it comes in a hardcover case and it's a hardcover book that comes with a sleeve. So this thing will last you till you're old like that old Titanic lady, man. It's been 84 years. Now this thing is awesome. Let's look into it. We got the contributors right off the bat, the contents of all the games that they're gonna review and a forward by David Doak. Now I had the honor of hanging out with David Doak not too long ago, who is the creator of GoldenEye, but not just him. I hung out with the creators of a lot of uh, Rare's amazing games. So go over and watch that video after you're done here. I'll leave a link in the description. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Let's get into this book. Let's see what it has to offer. Forward by David Doak was awesome. You guys really need to read that. The story of the N64, I was captivated. I couldn't put it down. It was just so amazing. And of course, the first game that they kicked this bad boy off with was Super Mario 64. This game, holy smokes, what can I say about it? It was... It was such an interesting time. When I was capturing footage, it just took me right back to the launch of the N64. The wonder that was there, the future of video games and trying to figure out, how do you even hold this controller? I'm telling you guys, if you weren't there for the launch, if you weren't there when it came out, it was all new. We just didn't know what was gonna happen. Everything was like this brand new broad, uh, like world that we were exploring. A whole new era in gaming. And so Mario 64 is amazing, and you would think that that's my favorite game, but it's not. And neither is Mortal Kombat Trilogy, but Mortal Kombat Trilogy is a game that me and my friends played just non-stop. This thing was on 24 hours a day, right? There's not very many fighting games for the N64, and this is the one to get. If you're gonna get one, get this one. And um, I always played as Shiva because she was kind of low tier and I just loved whooping people with Shiva because they felt bad about themselves. But like, I think as I review this book, I kind of want to take you back to the games that I had as a child, the games that I played. Mario 64, of course, one of the better ones, not the best one. I'm going to put my best one. I'm going to show you guys what that is. But I want to know what is your favorite N64 game? And what are the games that you guys had growing up? That's what I want to know. But Mortal Kombat, an amazing game. I actually do the Mortal Kombat panels. I've been doing Mortal Kombat panels for years, guys. So you got to have to check those out. I'll leave a link in the description to some of those, but there's a lot of them. I have tons of interviews. I've known these guys for years. They've been my friends. They're, they are my friends. They're awesome. So you're going to want to go check those out. Uh, the book has games that I never even played, it's like this one here. All right, moving on. Wave Race. Not the first game I own, but one of the first games. Now this is another great fighting game, Killer Instinct Gold. Now I own right now the Killer Instinct machine. I'm a huge Killer Instinct fan. So it's no surprise when they announced that Killer Instinct Gold was coming to the N64, which is you know a port of uh, Killer Instinct 2 from the arcade. I had to have this game. This is another game that was on constantly at my house. We would uh, just play this all night long, trying to learn all the combos, trying to get everything down. And uh, it is, it, it's a beautiful port. It's not arcade perfect. Um, the arcade does a lot of things that this doesn't, but uh, for a home port, this is really good. All right, let's move on. Let's see what else we got in here. Okay, so Shadows of the Empire, a game that a lot of people don't like. I loved it. Um, this, to me, this felt like a Star Wars game. To me, this is this was this was amazing. And yes, it controls funky sometimes, but there's so much stuff you can do, and it feels so Star Wars. And you just you feel like you're part of that world. And there's like driving a vehicle, or you're running around. I will say in the uh, towards the end, those diff those level how did I say it? the difficulty level of those later levels, it's it's brutal. It is brutal, but it has fantastic art, like the cutscenes, you feel like you're part of the Star Wars world. Now let's go to Mario Kart. What can I say? I am horrible at racing games, horrible. 
except for this one. I love this game. I could play this game all the time. For me, it's the number one of racing games. All right, let's move on. Let's see what else is in this beautiful, beautiful book. I'm telling you guys, you guys gotta read these articles. Uh, some of the developers here, like GoldenEye, you got David Doak back. He's, he wrote a beautiful piece on GoldenEye. And I got to tell David Doak a little bit of like the love-hate relationship I have with this first-person shooter at the panel. Again, you guys have to watch it. But the four-player aspect of this game made this game huge. You will learn a lot about GoldenEye if you watch my panel, and you'll learn a lot about GoldenEye if you get this book. Let me know if you played GoldenEye. Let's talk some GoldenEye. Listen. I have a love-hate relationship with you <laughs> at this moment. And like three months later, that's all I heard for the next two years of my life. <laughs> so, next time you play this game, you know, take your gun, show some love to David Doak just like I did right there. And when you see him, if you ever see him at a panel or a con, tell him, I told you to do that. Now we're into Turok. And uh, Turok was awesome. What can I say about Turok? I feel like this is a game I got early on too. I had so much fun. It uh, gets difficult, but it's awesome. Oh, snap. Kevin, my boy Kev, who was on that panel too. We talked about his work on Diddy Kong Racing, another great N64 game. And we talk about Killer Instinct and all kinds of things. And all that's in these articles here in this book. That brings us to Mace the Dark Age. Now, Mace the Dark Age is an amazing fighting game, underrated. Not many people talk about it. I don't know why, but if you get an N64 or you get this book and you're looking for suggestions of fighting games, I highly recommend this game. This game, again, on all the time. Difficulty can be pretty hard because you only have a limited amount of continues to get to the last guy, and that last guy is brutal. And you would think what you're seeing here is the last guy, but it's not. This is the guy before the last guy. And I actually played the, the game all the way through on a stream the other night, and it's still as hard as I remember, but we did finally beat this guy. So close. Yeah! All right, moving on, Resident Evil 2. Is this my favorite game, guys? No, it is not. Not for the N64, but I will say it's probably the best looking N64 game in my opinion. They did a stellar job with this. I, I, I didn't capture the cutscenes I should have. I, I mean, I did, I just didn't put them in here. I don't know why. Maybe I'll slip some in before I edit this thing. Now, South Park, is this a good game? Um, no, not really. But it was a game that I owned, so I have some nostalgia to it. But it's it it's not my favorite game by any means, and it's not I'm I, I I'm not even sure it's a good game. But it does hold a special place in my heart. All right, let's see what else we got here. Flipping on through. Oh, uh, here we go. Oh, Mario Golf. Mario Golf. How many hours? did I put into Mario Golf when I was younger? Wow, me and my friends, we're talking about, uh, we're, you know, we're out, we're graduated from high school, sitting around, drinking 40s, drinking St. Ides, and playing this game. When you first start, you don't have very many guys, but if you keep playing, you open up more and more guys. This is just, I don't know, there's something about it. It's easy to get into. It's a blast. I highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite games on the N64, but it is not my favorite N64 game. Nice shot. Mortal Kombat 4, is that my favorite game? No, it's not. In fact, I think it's the worst Mortal Kombat game ever made, but it, it is still a good fighting game. For a Mortal Kombat game, it is a little bit on the easy side, but I still recommend it. Uh, there was another Mortal Kombat game, Platformer, on the N64, but I feel like I gotta do a whole different video for that. But, all right, flipping through this bad boy, man, there's so many games, Donkey Kong 64, uh, Majora's Mask, there's just so many. Oh, Indiana Jones, I remember one thing about this. Just kidding. Oh, Banjo and Kazooie. We wrote the first, the earlier levels of the game. So I rewrote Mumbo's Mountain and I rewrote Treasure Trove Cove to be a bit more like that. Again, and I know I'm sounding like a broken record, go check out that panel 
because it has Grant Kirkhope and he did all the music for Banjo and Kazooie. And this book has an amazing write up on Banjo and Kazooie and that was a game I owned as a kid. Well, that's it for this book. Oh wait, you guys wanna know what my favorite N64 game is. Let me know what yours is down below. Well, mine is, it's this bad boy. Oh my goodness. Even when I was capturing the footage of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, it just felt like such an epic journey. And it was so good to be like, I I haven't played this since it came out and, uh, and, and beating it when it first came out, but I got stuck in so, some of the puzzles and some of the areas and it felt so good. See, I'm not a fan of the new ones. And I know there's gonna be some haters in the comment section. I just don't care for the new Zeldas because I felt like, I feel like they're too easy. I feel like, I don't know, it just didn't have what this has. This is, if you have an N64 game, any game, this is the one you need to get. Now let me know guys in the comments below, what is your favorite N64 game? I need to know. And so guys, you guys have to head over to bitmapbooks.com and go and you need to purchase this bad boy. Purchase any of the books. All their books are amazing. You will not be disappointed. So go pick this up. I will tell you that I talked to them today and this video comes out tomorrow. So one day ago and they said, we're so low on stock on this N64 book. So if you're watching this, do not delay. Go and get it right now. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.